everyone it's your girl lizzie and welcome back to a brand new video i'm videotaping on my phone today so if i look like a little off like i don't know why when i'm looking at the camera i feel like i'm not looking at you guys because if i look here i feel like my eyes are too much you know to that side but then when i look at myself i feel like my eyes are too much to this side if this is your first time on my channel make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and subscribe right now and if you're back to watch another video welcome back to my channel Okay guys, so in the title, you guys can see that this is going to be another Pandora cleaning video. You guys probably might think I'm lying, but the last time I did this cleaning video was actually the last time that I cleaned my jewelry. I know it's been over a year and yeah, I think I should probably clean it again because guys, I want to show you guys and it looks absolutely disgusting. I actually haven't worn it for over a year now. Because honestly, I don't wear jewelry to work and I don't like wearing jewelry to work because I bang my hands on everything. And that stops me from wearing the jewelry because I'm scared I'm going to damage it. So I haven't been wearing it for a while. But let me show you guys how it looks right now. It looks absolutely disgusting. So this is what it looks like right now. It's not supposed to look like this. Like I don't know if you guys can see. It is disgusting. It is so tarnished you guys can see that so i wanted to do this because my mom gave me her bracelet which is right over here she asked me to clean it for her hers isn't that bad because she actually wears it almost all the time me i don't wear mine at all and i don't know if you guys remember from my last video i told you guys that if you're not gonna wear your pandora jewelry put it in like a plastic bag so it's like basically vacuum sealed so it doesn't tarnish because pandora jewelry literally tarnishes from only oxygen too make sure you guys put it in like a ziplock bag so it's not like just laying there because honestly this is what happens and to everyone who commented on my video on saying oh it still tarnishes it's still going to get dirty when um i leave it out yeah put it in a baggie it's probably still gonna tarnish not gonna lie but honestly shouldn't tarnish like this See, my mom's, like I said, my mom's jewelry, I, I haven't cleaned yet. Like, I haven't cleaned at all. But look how it looks. It literally looks like it's brand new. Because she wears it all the time. And I'm telling you guys, when you keep it on, your natural oils in your skin keeps it clean. So yeah, I just wanted to do another cleaning video. The last time I did this, it got absolutely so much, like, like I got a lot of responses. A lot of people watched that video. It has almost over 80,000 views. I know wow 80,000 views so you know I just wanted to do this because honestly cleaning satisfies me and if I clean this on video I know it's going to satisfy some of you guys so I'm like you know what let me just do this on camera also I have no makeup on so don't come at me guys I feel so comfortable around you guys so I don't even need to wear makeup but yeah if you guys want to see me clean this jewelry and show you guys what i use even though i showed you guys the last time but why not show you guys again then just keep watching this video okay guys so i do have my bowl of water over here last time i used a cup but i can't find that cup anymore so you know we're using a bowl of water i got my dawn soap really good to use for this and then i got my polishing cloth the one that i got from amazon i think i paid like seven dollars for it and then i have a toothbrush to scrub dub dub jewelry also actually have another camera right over here so you guys can actually see what i'm doing and i'm going to be talking to you guys about what i'm doing but yeah i feel like this is going to help you guys out a lot more if you're going to be trying to clean your own jewelry so let's stack this up okay guys so i do have my bowl of water right over here it is really just like lukewarm water nothing too cold nothing too hot because we're going to be putting our hands in here and we don't want our hands to get burned i would wear gloves but it's my jewelry so i'm not going to really wear gloves but if you're cleaning someone else's jewelry i suggest you to wear gloves so we are going to just put a little bit of dawn dish soap right inside you really don't have to put a lot but you know i like it when my jewelry gets nice and clean so the girl's gonna put a lot still. Okay. With the toothbrush, we're just gonna mix all that soap and water. Honestly, if you wanna put more soap, put more soap. It smells so good. I'm gonna put a little bit more. We're gonna mix again. And I am going to be dropping all the jewelry in here. 
and I'm going to let it sit for about five minutes. So we do have all the bracelets right over here. I'm going to be dropping these. So I'm going to leave this one out because I'm going to put my rings on it because I don't want to be like looking and digging and fishing for that. But yeah, so I'm going to open it with my Pandora guitar pick that I got from work when I used to work there. And we're just going to open it up because I do not have nails. So that open that up. And then we're just going to put all of the rings right inside. I'm going to close it. And then I'm just going to drop it right in. And I'm going to give it about five minutes to sit before we start to scrub everything in here. So I'll be back in about five minutes to show you guys how it looks. Okay, so you guys can see all the jewelry right inside here. It is all soaked. Again, it's been in here for about five minutes. I am going to, like I said, get some paper towel. I'm going to lay it down on the desk so I can grab the pieces and begin to polish every single piece. So we have that laying nice and down. I'm going to grab this right over here. I'm going to grab another piece of paper towel and I'm going to dry that up and begin to like look at look at that guys you're telling me that's not disgusting like that is gross but yeah so i'm going to start to polish this right over here again i'm going to be using the jewelry polish cloth from amazon and i am going to open that <gasps> Go rate. Right. Okay, don't worry. We we can still we can still use it. We'll still use it. It was only half of it that got dirty. Also, this is how it looks from the last time I used it. Oh, we should be okay. It only wet the outside. It didn't really wet the inside. But yeah, so I'm going to begin polishing it down. Just using the polishing cloth to brush all that tarnish off but yeah like look do you guys see a difference at all like look at this side and then look at this side but yeah so we're going to polish that down guys i literally forgot to brush it so i kind of forgot to brush this one but before we polish we want to make sure we brush down every single piece which i am going to be doing right now Again, once we brush it, it's going to come out a lot easier. So I'm literally just brushing it. I know some of you guys didn't want to use a toothbrush because you guys were saying how it's going to scratch the jewelry. But honestly, guys, working at Pandora and even selling the jewelry, I can tell you guys that this jewelry does scratch really easily and really quickly. Um, even like the new jewelry that just came in, honestly, it, it they, they were pretty scratched up. So you must be handling your jewelry very, very, very good if you have absolutely no scratches on it. And guys, I would take every single charm off the bracelet to clean but honestly I don't have time for that right now it's almost midnight and I have work in the morning so I'm not going to do that I'm just going to polish them on the bracelet but if you guys do want to do them one at a time you guys can absolutely do that that's probably the best thing to do to get it really really clean but like I said I'm too lazy and I did do it in my last video so if you guys want to check that out and I do suggest you to watch that video if you guys want to see like an actual detailed video of me cleaning the jewelry. But yeah. Okay. So I'm going to dry my hands. So yeah, so I'm going to grab this one and this one's pretty bad, not going to lie. So this one's the snake chain bracelet with a 16th charm on it. And this one's like very 
tarnished. So I am going to dry that up and begin to polish it down. But yeah, guys, look at the difference. I don't know if you see it, but look how silver this side is. And then just look how like dull and tarnished that side looks. I'm telling you guys, this cloth for $7. Don't let Pandora fool you with that $20 care kit. Not worth it. Especially with the fact that you can just use Dawn Soap. And honestly, I got my Dawn Soap from Dollarama. So y'all can just go to the dollar store to get soap a toothbrush a pail or a bucket seven dollar tarnishing cloth from amazon and then some water and pandora also does like i told you guys before complimentary cleaning but don't waste your time going to that because i've told you guys before and i've seen it firsthand i've seen people break like customers jewelry and yeah I've seen it happen firsthand don't know if I'm allowed to say that but so yeah it's better for you to just clean your jewelry honestly on your own don't go to Pandora to do it just honestly do it yourself but yeah look at that this charm also has like an oxidized finish so I don't know if you guys can see so it does look a little tarnished, but it's actually not. It's just oxidized. That's the style. A lot of their old charms. This is like an old, old charm. This is one of their like retired charms. And their retired charms have like that oxidized finish. So it's actually not it being tarnished. And again, if you guys have like old retired charms that look like they have that oxidized finish, do not use the polishing cloth to clean it because that is going to like ruin the charm. So don't do that. Unless you know that it was like a nice bright silver before you bought it. So we got that one done. I'm going to pull out this one again that I just did before. We're going to dry it up. See? After brushing it, look how nice that looks. Clean. Next, we'll do my bracelet. Well, they're all my bracelet, but I mean like my my bracelet that I use like all the time so I'm going to dry that up I'm gonna get some more paper towel because it's still pretty wet and then I am just going to polish this one again just do the same thing for all of them see like I can take off every single charm like I said but honestly it's just way too much work and I'm not trying to do that right now I don't know but this is like my favorite one of my favorite charms or safety chains actually it's not a charm but it's the little Mickey Mouse hands or gloves as my safety chain but that is like look I really didn't even need to take it out the bracelet itself wasn't tarnished it was more of the charms but honestly did pretty good without even removing it but that is how that looks next i am going to do my mom's because she wanted me to clean it so there is that let me scrub it a little bit more for her so it could be nice and clean Again, her bracelet is pretty clean to be on it. It's not, it's like not even that dirty. Like there's like some like in the crooks and crannies where it has like a little bit of tarnish. But other than that, I don't know if you guys can see. It looks, it looks pretty good. But we're still going to like, you know, polish it down just a little. So it can have a little bit of that, not a little bit, but we want to try to get most of that shine back. Because she does have a lot that have little stones in it. So we want to, again, brighten it up a little bit. Because I feel like the stones is what catches the eye. Also, has anyone collected the 20, 
like the Pandora 2020 collection because like this pig right over here as you guys can see is a part of the 2020 collection and I got that one I think I got one for me and I got one for my mom just making sure I get every single piece because she asked me to get every single piece I don't want to miss anything Okay, and that is how that one is looking. Very nice. Next, we got this bracelet with all my rings on it. The bracelet is pretty tarnished, as you guys can see. The rings aren't that bad. This ring maybe a little, but again, this is like a older ring, so it does have that oxidized finish. But yeah, they're not that bad. It's really just the bracelet that looks pretty bad. So I am going to grab the polishing cloth again and polish that down. Oh my god, guys, I remember this one time at Pandora when I used to work there. I was cleaning someone's bracelet. And I was in the back, like, cleaning it, and I opened up the clasp, and uh, I don't know what the heck it was, but it looked like boogers were stuck inside the clasp. It was, ugh. Oh, it was so disgusting. It was actually, ugh. It was gross. I was like, ugh. Like, yeah. It was, it was, it was disturbing. But yeah, guys. Look at that. Nice and clean. So I did throw everything back inside the little bowl of water. I'm going to let it sit again for another five minutes. And then I'm going to rinse them out under the sink and show you guys how they look. But yeah, let's give it about five minutes, let it sit, and I will be back to show you guys how these bracelets turned out. So it's been a little bit more than five minutes now. I took out the bracelets from the soapy water and I let it rinse so it can take off all that extra, you know, soap particles or whatever on the bracelet. And this is how the bracelets look now. I don't know about you guys, but that looks um, pretty shiny and clean to me. Let me pop up, you know, how it looked like before I cleaned them. Again, they were so tarnished, especially whoop, especially this one right over here. It was pretty black and dirty. But yeah, this is how they look now. Again, guys, honestly, just buy some soap, water, and a polishing cloth. And honestly, you guys can do this at home. You guys don't really need to go to Pandora and get it cleaned. You don't need to buy their cure kits because honestly, they're not really that worth it. But yeah, you can literally just do this at home if you're ever bored or if you have a lot of Pandora jewelry and you don't know how to clean it. Yeah, just do what I'm doing and trust me, it's going to help. Also guys, please, please, please. A lot of you guys have told me that you guys threw your Pandora jewelry in the garbage because you guys thought it was ruined and it was done. There's life in them. There's always life in them. Don't throw them away. Some people have bracelets that tell their life story, that tell like that have a meaning to it. So please don't throw your Pandora jewelry away. If you guys don't know how to clean it, you know, send it to me. I'll clean it for you. I'll clean it for free. Don't even need to buy that Pandora jewelry care kit, whatever. I'll clean it for you. But yeah, guys, this is how all the bracelets turned out. They look absolutely beautiful. They look like they're brand new. I do apologize if you wanted like a step-by-step, -step, you know, cleaning video. I really wasn't trying to do that right now because I already have that on my channel. This was more of just a uh, clean my jewelry with you guys and just sit here and just, you know, record myself cleaning it. But if you guys do want like an actual step-by-step -step video, definitely check out that video. I'll put the link in the description to that video that I did. And yeah, guys, if your Pandora jewelry is clean, don't throw it out. Clean it. There's still life in them. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching this video. If you guys did enjoy this video, please give it a huge thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And leave a comment. Let me know what kind of jewelry do you guys have. 
Do you guys like Pandora? Do you guys not like Pandora? What's your favorite charm from Pandora that you own? Let me know. I want to know. All right, guys. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.